Welcome to Center Stage, I'm Mikhailo Curry. Join us today for my exclusive interview with award-winning Canadian-Ukrainian singer-songwriter Teresa Sikirka, who has just released a new Ukrainian CD. I'm very anxious to hear all about it. Enjoy. Teresa was the first runner-up on Canadian Idol, and she is also a Juno Award nominee. Her career has taken her across Canada many times, and now she has gone back to her roots and has just released a Ukrainian CD. I have always had the, the hope to, to re record a Ukrainian album. It's, it's just part of my life, you know. I, I grew up with this music, and, and um, it just seemed like the, the right progression to take. Um, even though, you know, I put out about three albums before this and it just seemed like this was the time in my life where, where I could musically um, sort of change the songs and, and still stick with, the, with these melodies that I've known for, for years and years. So it just kind of seemed like time. <laughs> Emotionally, was it difficult to go back or, as you say, because you grew up with this, was it comfortable? Yeah, definitely. I, I, I found it really, really comfortable and, and really easy to... Uh, to get into the music, I mean, it's it's in my blood, you know. So it's uh, it, was, it was a really comforting feeling to, to to be recording these songs. Absolutely. Teresa has been performing all her life, and like many of us, she got her start performing within the Ukrainian community. One of the, the best gifts I think my parents ever really taught me was humility, and, and I, I really do believe that's a Ukrainian trait, to be humble. And, and I've never really met many Ukrainians that are braggers, you know? Like it's, it's a, it's a, the culture definitely, uh, definitely has shaped me as a human being, for certain. Originally from Saskatoon, Teresa now makes her home in Montreal. What a huge change. Yes, I've been living in Montreal now for about uh, two years and I'm trying to learn a little bit of French just to mix things up a little bit and hopefully we'll write a, a French album at some point in my life down the road. But it's just a, another challenge in life. That's the reason why I moved there. And because it's so European there, is it inspiring you in other, perhaps in musical directions that you hadn't thought you would go. Before. Absolutely, yeah. Montreal is just a, such a lively, lively city and, and there's so many different musicians. And it's so easy to, to meet people that are, that are into creating, you know, so it's, it's pretty cool to be in that. It, it feels like I'm foreign, you know, and, and uh, it's kind of a comforting thing, even though it's a little bit scary too. Take it away! 
Teresa Sekirka's new CD is a wonderful collection of her favorite Ukrainian songs. I wanted to, I wanted to do songs that were, that were um, uh, recorded, like other bands have recorded them over and over and over again. But I really wanted to take it in a different, in a different uh, genre and change the, change the arrangements of the songs. And I think it, I think it turned out really well. It's definitely really different. It start, I started recording the album acoustically, just with my acoustic guitar and and vocal tracks, and that's what we based the album on. So, the, the arrangements were. I would say Carissa Kloposhak was was a huge, huge uh, influence on on, um, on on the arrangements of the songs for sure. But um, Benoit Morier, who helped me, uh, who, who was the producer and the engineer of the album, he he was he's not a Ukrainian guy; he's a French guy from Winnipeg. So it was pretty challenging for him. But I, I think that uh, you know we came up with some really amazing arrangements. But it's definitely because of Carissa Kloposhak. She's she's an amazing, amazing violinist, and she. She made this album, I really believe that. Recording a CD is a huge financial undertaking, and Teresa received help from the Shevchenko Foundation. The Shevchenko Foundation definitely helped me get this project together. Um, I couldn't have done it without them. I probably would have gone into some severe debt, but uh, they really, really helped out, and I, I really want to thank them for that. And um, and luckily, because I met Benoit, he, he gave me a really good price on the studio, so I managed to, to keep the budget pretty low. So. It, it, Will you be touring to promote this? I really hope I'll be touring soon. <laughs> In the summertime, I have a 40-day tour planned, and it's just sort of depends on whether or not I get a Canada Council grant in order to uh, to get this album heard by not only Ukrainians but but other people. You know, it's it's just a, it's a beautiful album, and I think that a lot of people will appreciate it. Um, you can buy it on iTunes, and I also have it available on uh, www.musicmax.ca. You can buy a physical copy there. And, uh, that's where you can buy it. The new CD is dedicated to two giants of Ukrainian music who left this world far too soon, Kvitka Sisek and Volodymyr Ivasyuk. And I grew up with, with Kvitka CDs and it was uh, my entire life I've, I've listened to her CDs and I've admired her voice so much and so it was, it was kind of inevitable for me to, I, I, you know, I took a couple of arrangements from her too because she's such a brilliant, brilliant woman. And, and it's it's definitely too bad, but I thought that it was appropriate to dedicate it to to her and to um, and to Volodymyr Ivasyuk because I grew up on this music and, and it just seemed so fitting. Her family back home in Saskatoon have supported Teresa every step of the way on her musical journey. My parents and my sisters are just the most important people in my in my in my world. Uh, my dad's always he's he's been sick my whole life. He, he had a heart transplant when I was six years old, and, and uh, just to to know that he's seen me grow up to be a grown woman and see me go through these changes 
and experiences. It's just, it's so heartwarming. It's wonderful. And to be on TV from coast to coast, and to be, yeah. Canadians <laughs> falling in love with you and voting for you yeah. and everything. It's like that's my kid. Yeah, they're my biggest supporters, absolutely. And um, it's it's just I feel so proud to call them my parents. They're such incredible people. Like they're just they they work so hard and they have worked so hard to give me these opportunities, and I have them to thank. Saskatoon will always be my home, but. Um, there's just something, I, I really do believe that I'm supposed to be experiencing things and challenging myself in my life, so I, it's hard to leave. It's hard to leave my parents behind, but um, I go back, you know, a couple times a, week, a, couple times a year and, and catch up, and, and it makes going home so much more rewarding and, and wonderful. And you sort of, you know, you realize how much you appreciate it when you're gone. We thank Teresa Sakirka for spending time with us today on Center Stage, and we hope all of you will catch her when she performs live in concert across Canada this summer. Coming up next week on Center Stage, a very unusual icon exhibit by Oksana Ivanochko of Lviv. Before I leave today, I'd just like to take a moment to wish a very special lady a very happy 100th birthday. Stella Zelchuk of Burlington, Ontario, and formerly of Wasega Beach, celebrated this milestone this past week. She's been part of my family since the time I was born, and even before that, and we wish her the best. Pani Zelchuk, Bajayovam, Shastya, Zdrovya, Imnohaya Blahaya Lita, Vidna Susik. I'm Mikhailo Curry, Center Stage for Contact. See you next time. First runner up on Canadian Idol and she is also a Juno Award nominee. Her career has taken her across Canada many times, and now she has gone back to her roots and has just released a Ukrainian CD. I have always had the, the hope to, to re record a Ukrainian album. It's, it's just part of my life, you know. I, I grew up with this music and... and um... Just to hear all about it. Enjoy. <laughs> Teresa was the first. It just seemed like the, the right progression to take. Um, even though, you know, I put out about three albums before this, and it just seemed like this was the time in my life where, where I could musically um, sort of change the songs and, and still stick with, the, with these melodies that I've known for, for years and years. So it just kind of seemed like time. <laughs> Emotionally, was it difficult to go back? Or as you say, because you grew up with this, was it comfortable? Yeah, definitely. I, I, I found it really, really comfortable and, and really easy to uh, to get into the music. I mean, it's it's in my blood, you know. So it's uh, it, was, it was a really comforting feeling to, to to be recording these songs. Absolutely. Welcome to Center Stage, I'm Mikhailo Curry. Join us today for my exclusive interview with award-winning Canadian-Ukrainian singer-songwriter Teresa Sikirka, who has just released a new Ukrainian CD. I'm very anxious.